Be Gonzalez. Si, senor. You filed a report against us with the sheriff. You even approached the Farm Workers Union for help against this evil militia. One day, 
Someone will bring justice to this town. You'll see. You got guts. You have got guts. I admire your bravery, Mr. Gonzalez. I truly do. But I cannot condone this kind of activity. You understand? Shoot him. No. Tenga compasión. Por favor. Tenga piedad. Tenga piedad. Live life weekly if you cannot appreciate extermination of Burma. Planto and his brother, they went to the sheriff, and the very next afternoon they were dead. And now, now Gonzalez. And before that, Jorge Menendez was beaten so badly that he could not ever walk again. Why don't we go to the state police or the FBI? The most of us will get deported. The sheriffs only keep us around as long as we stay out of trouble and as long as we do the town's dirty work. Well, what are we going to do? Are we going to let them keep killing us one by one? Then we must fight the militia. You are crazy, Hector. How? We got no guns. Then we hire other killers. We fight fire with fire. Like we really know people who could stand a chance against the militia. For hire. Como esta, mi hermano? You look good up here. Green beret with trained mercenary team. Expert skills. Can handle any problem. Contact Lieutenant William Fredrickson. There's an address in Los Angeles. And no telephone number. It's going to cost us plenty, but maybe it's our last hope. My brother is right. If everyone chips in all the money they can afford, he and I will take the morning train to Los Angeles to hire this man. <laughs> Lieutenant Fredrickson? Uh, yeah, uh, have a seat. Dad? Damn. Lieutenant Fredrickson? You boys ain't from the deli. Uh, senor, is this you? Yeah, could be. 
Please. Sit down. Sit down, my boy. Tell me, tell me what I can do for you. What do you want? We need you to help us fight a militia? There ain't no militias around here. No, not here, senor, in Texas. <laughs> How many are there? Over a hundred. Shit, it's that all. <laughs> they got a lot of firepower. Well, yes, senor. They have many guns. Yeah, sounds like your boy's got a little problem. That, 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 uh, I know all about the militias. I do. I've been there, boys. I've been there. You're uh, scary and you get dangerous. It's expensive, too. How much money you got? Uh, how, how much is your, your fee? Fee? Uh, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and it's more than, more than you can afford. You don't know how much we got, senor. Don't make no difference. Carmen will show you a way out. Good, 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 good luck, boys. Yeah. Uh, you boys that run into somebody out there that, uh, smells like a dill pickle, you tell him to get his ass in here, fast. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, listen, listen, I, I have an idea. There's this guy, his name is McHugh. I've never seen him before, but I've heard about him from guys who have come in here. And he's supposed to be tough. Where can we find him? Well, he works at a motorcycle shop about a block and a half away. I... First, you have to go over to Margaret's Diner. It's over on Spring Street. There it is. This man looks like. This is all your idea. My idea? No. Who's the one who said me and my brother will go to LA? We don't even belong here. You want coffee here? Don't blame me. Maybe you should just go back to Los Robles. Look, how was I supposed to know this guy Fredrickson was gonna be some kind of alcoholic, drunk, stupid, crazy nut? How can we talk to this Macu when we can't even recognize him? Shut up, Sam. Listen up! Don't want to get hurt! Put your money and your jewelry on the table. Keep your hands in the air. Put your money and your jewelry on the table. Hand behind your head. All right, don't move. Get your hands in the back of your head. Get down. Right now. Get them off. Hey. What are you, deaf? You. What are you, a tough guy? Huh? You think you're a tough guy? All the town's money's in those bags. Hey, listen to me. If you don't shut up, he's gonna hear you, he's gonna kill you, and if he doesn't kill you, I will. I say give up the cash! Wallet, jewelry, rings, everything you got! I don't mind you taking this stuff. Just leave the sunglasses. What's so special about the glasses? They're my favorite pair. Hey, boy. Johnny Reb here has got an affection for his sunglasses. You listen to me. This gun's sticking in your ear, and all I gotta do is pull the trigger and poof! No more tough guy. I don't care what you do. 
Just don't touch the glass. Jeremy Britt. I'm a CDM, a can-do man. And I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Do me a favor, Mr. CDM. Turn around and leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cold, man. I give you a ride here, you shut the door in my face, and I ain't even said nothing about your Confederate hat. Can't we just all get along? Besides, I need some muscle every now and then. You want muscle join the gym. What is this? Visitor's Day? Senor McHugh? Hector Chavez. This is my brother, Jose. What can I do for you? Uh, we saw what you could do at the restaurant, and we need to speak with you. Just one minute, please, senor. Go ahead. We come from a small town called Los Robles. It's in Texas on the Mexican border. About 20 miles east, there's this compound. It's for the sons of Texas. Senor, it's a bunch of right-wing rednecks. You got 45 seconds. They hate us because we're Mexican. They hate anybody who's not white. They steal from us every month. They take food, supplies, anything they want. They have killed and they have raped. The sheriff, he does nothing to help us. Why don't you go to the state police? Texas Rangers. No, we, we can't. Some of us are illegal. Some of us have lived there for 30 years. So why don't you just fight back? Fight back. We cannot fight back, senor. No. No, see, there's over a hundred of them, and they are devils. One of us tried to stand up to them last week, and they murdered him in the street. We're not trained fighters. Like you. You and others like you. We are willing to pay, senor. Fourteen thousand dollars. Seven thousand now in the balance when you have completed the job. You are our only hope, senor. We cannot go back to Los Robles empty-handed. We cannot let our people die. I feel for your problem. You're not going to find a lot of men willing to risk their lives. $14,000. Sorry. Can't help you. Yeah. Let's go. We were led to believe that you were someone who would understand, but we're not going to beg for money. Hector, espera. No, vamos. Espera un momentito. ¿Por qué no le dices el dinero que tiene listo? What if I told you there was a lot of money at the compound? That the town people have heard that 
The militia has millions of dollars. Oh, si, senor. They keep it in a big safe. It's how they pay the sheriff off every month. We all know about it. You hear that? That would be opportunity knocking. We get a couple of your boys together, take care of our friends' problems, and we're rolling in the dough. Millions, even. You want to chase rainbows? Go chase rainbows. You don't know diddly squat about this militia. Now get the hell out of here, all of you. What's we'll say? We're leaving. Wait, 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 Chavez, whoa, whoa, chill, chill, my Spanish brother. <laughs> Come here. We can do this. Let cooler heads prevail. This is what I got in mind. So I must tell you the men are getting restless. I've been training over a year. I have yet to see action. Peaceful conditions. A warlike man will turn upon himself. Nietzsche said that. That is not going to happen here. Our battle will soon be upon us. This country is coming apart at the seams. You got foreigners everywhere you look. Washington is scheming to take away even more of our liberties. Hell, we're the best chance this country's got. Cease fire! Callan, get over here! Yes, sir. You men know that using the telephone is prohibited. Yes, yes sir. sir! That call, sir, will cost you one week in the brig. Let's go. Find out what you can on him. I want to know everything there is. Yes, sir. The rest of you men continue! Sons of Texas. Lamont Sperry. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. McHugh, I took my men outside and had a chat with them, check their stuff out. They're right. Look, straight from the net, and CIA email. I downloaded the bio of the militia leader, Lamont Sperry, former Special Forces commander. He's supposed to be sitting on millions in profits from illegal arms deals. Now, my guess is the money's at a compound, like Hector and Jose said. What makes you think that? Well, he sure didn't put it in the bank where the government can get to it. So why aren't the feds after him? After Waco and Ruby Ridge, they want to be real sure before they make a move. How reliable is this information? <laughs> Straight from the government news releases. That gives me a lot of confidence. No, no, look. Either the money is at the compound, or we can track it down from there. I think it's at the compound. You get yourself some men together, I'll get a plane and get us to Texas. How would you manage that? I'm a businessman. A CDM, remember? How often do Sperry and his men come to Los Robles? The end of each month. That gives me three weeks. How are you gonna get these men? That's my business. How do you know they're gonna be any good? I don't know. You just leave that little bag here. The other will expect when I arrive in Los Robles. And uh, when will that be? Twelve days from now. And how do we know you just won't take our money and not show up? You're just gonna have to trust me. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. Don't bother. Just leave your cellular number. What the hell are you doing here? I followed you. What are you waiting for? Look, I gotta know what's going on before I put up the door to fly us to Texas. You better get your ass out the street. Long time. So, how's everything on the racing circuit? Ah, it sucked. Yeah? About a year ago. 
I got an accident. The French doctor said I'd never walk again. <laughs> what do they know, huh? They know about great wine and beautiful women. <laughs> That's one of the things I respect about McHugh. No pretense. Yeah, I like that, too. Huh. I mean, you drive out. Interested? Government or private? Private. How much? Not much up front. That could be a big pay off on the back end. I'm in. Let's have some fun. Okay. Sims is my name. Britt, Jeremy Britt. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Let's go for a ride, huh? <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? For pancakes. Oh, 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 oh. I don't eat. I ain't hungry. Coffee. I don't drink coffee. Skim milk. Skim.
five dollars. And you earned every bit of it. He deserves more. Make you out of his house. Good. I'll tell how they get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paulie, who the hell is this guy? You leave us alone, please. How the hell did you find me? Made a few phone calls. What are you doing in a place like this? You know, it's not easy to find a job in our line of work. Why don't you start your own business? Like what? Protection. Depends for who. Hey, he's got a job. Be here next week and don't be late. Shut up, Pinhead. How much? Two thousand up front, maybe more. That buys a lot of knockwurst. <laughs> You just bought yourself some serious protection. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, what about me? We got a contract for three more fights. Call my lawyer. So, McHugh, you gotta put me down with this, man. I'm, I'm not gonna take no for an answer. Let me ask you, what can you do? Can you fight? Uh... Can you handle a weapon? Have you ever been in a battle? No, I'm an acquisitions man. I can get my hands on anything. And I'm smart. Well, if you're so smart, then why would you want to take a chance of getting yourself killed? I mean, I can't explain it, but... These guys, Hector and Jose, I care for them, man, and I, I, I want to help them. You really feel that way? I swear to God, scout sign. Did you know I was an international scout? You know what? You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you put a smile on my face. You get us the plane, we can ride along. After that, we'll see. So tell me something about this guy we're going to pick up. Who is he? What does he do? He's crazy. Turn left at the side. You gotta be kidding me. Your friend works here? Kill. She's looking at me. Don't fall in love. We'll be out of here in 15 seconds. Huh? <laughs> You're not my boyfriend. <laughs> Next time, try flowers. Let's go. Fuck you! Don't touch hey! it! Back up the car! Go! Stop! Get over here! Go back! Austin! Get over here! Austin! Austin! Stop him! I'll let him go! Hey, stop! Oh, man, that was beautiful! Q, man, to the rescue! Hey, hey, who's this? Is this your chauffeur? <laughs> That was beautiful, Q, man. I loved it, man. I loved it. Woo! I got this. I got this. Not yet. I am about to urinate in your car if you don't pull this thing over. Would you pull the car over? Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you for not pissing in my ashtray. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Sweet juniper. I heard you got out of government service. What you been up to? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Well, you don't take a man like the Q, man. Take him out of covert operations in Panama, Grenada, end up putting him behind the desk. Oh, I knew Woo. that. Much better. Much better. Still got connections in El Paso? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd get you more armament than half the countries in the United Nations. I mean, if it's still there. I, I hadn't been there in years. I have been a little preoccupied. <laughs> what can you get your hands on? Well, I can... Hey, God damn it! don't touch me! 
Got a lot of weapons and uh, explosives and ammunition and such. I think they got some civilian things, some nitroglycerin. Should ought to be able to pack a pop still. Might be dated. You, uh, you got a good driver? Sims. <laughs> Sims? Sims? That son of a bitch tried to kill me once. Now, is there anybody else with you I need to know about? Remy Sykes. Well, now, Remy Sykes, she could kill me anytime she wants. I wouldn't mind getting myself a little bit of that. Let's make it 8.15. No later, Remy. Yeah. Remy Sykes. You're late. I thought I had some time to kill. Remy. I'm sure. Good to see you. Uh, you too. Kurt Meyer. Please have a seat. Deutsch, huh? Oh, this is Deutsch. Yeah. The first station in Österreich. Hmm. Vienna? Nein. Salzburg. Where's Hoffman? Doesn't need to be here. You got Latrell Hoffman? Well, that's just perfect. He's wacko. Maybe a nut, but he's at his best when his back's up against the wall. How do you fit in? I arranged for us to get to Texas. <laughs> he's a travel agent. I'm a can-do man. Anything you guys need, I can do. Planning, acquisitions, you name it. I'm the one who got you the info on Lamont Sperry and the Sons of Texas. When do we leave? Tomorrow. We meet at the airport at 0800 hours. Kurt, you and Remy will train any locals who volunteer. Sims, you'll drive Hoffman to pick up the ordnance and explosives. Hoffman? Oh, great. Thank you. Then you're going to get me killed the first day. <laughs> Better you than us. <laughs> Britt. You'll work with Hector and Jose to gather all the information you can on the compound. I want building plans, photographs, anything you can get your hands on. Now, I want to reiterate what I said before. This is going to be like stepping into a bear trap. But if we're successful, there could be enough money to make it worth the risk. Well, now, that's what we're all in it for, the money, huh? <laughs> Cheers. Hey, I'm down for the cause. If anyone wants out, now's the time to speak up.
One more beer, please. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Crazy German. Remy, from what I hear, this Los Robles is a dumpy little place. So if you're too caught up with city life, you're not going to be happy. I'll be fine. What about him? You think he's up for it? Well, you have to worry about me, baby doll. I'm down for anything. Don't call me baby doll. You got away with women. Harbor English? Yes, senor. You speak English? <laughs> you did that again without permission, you'll pull back stump. That the truck you promised us? Yeah, it's the best I could do. My friends are uh, plugging a leak. Can you call the town meeting tonight about 8 o'clock? Uh, yeah, 8 o'clock's good. Thank you. There's your truck. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You don't want me to drive this, do you? You want Hoffman to drive? What 
Come on, hotshot. Gonna take us forever in this beauty. Oh, terrific. <laughs> Just terrific. Well, Sal Brighton here. <laughs> he couldn't come up or anything on his background. It could be a plant. Or maybe I was a true believer. In a few minutes, won't make a damn bit of difference. Go get him. Bring him in. Move it. All right, everybody, listen up. Griffin is here to teach you the power of martial arts. So pay attention to this most important lesson. You're no patriot. All you teach is malicious. Your philosophy of evil. You got that? The great turning point in our lives is when we gain the courage to accept our evil as what is best in us. Fight! <sighs> Come on, get up and fight! Dropped out on the old creek road. Let the son of a bitch ride in the sun. Are your prayers have been listened to for a long time. And God willing, those prayers are now being answered. I wish now to introduce you to uh, Senor McHugh. <laughs> Senor. It's not easy to live with fear. You feel powerless. Desperate. This is your land. Your town. No one's gonna defend it like you. We need your help. We don't know how to fight. We hired you to fight. We paid you a lot of money, half of it in Los Angeles. And we'll earn every penny of that money. But there's about a hundred of them and only six of us. Two of my men will be arriving tomorrow with armament. We'll find out which of you can handle weapons and teach you. Give me some volunteers. Look, uh, he's right. It's about action here. We can't keep looking at each other. So who's down to help themselves? Senor, uh, no offense, but you don't exactly look like a, a fighter yourself. I'm not talking about that. I'm looking for a few volunteers. This is ridiculous. 
Dios. This is not what I do best. Do you have to do that? You know, when I was in the Clearview State Home, I used to brush my teeth four, maybe five times a day. Probably 15 minutes each. Of course, you know, it's very, very, very important to floss. So what I'd do is on the weekdays, I would start to floss on the right, and I'd work my way to the left. And then on the weekends, I would floss left, work right. What day is it, anyway? It's the worst day of my life. Anyway, you want to know what the moral of the story is, Sims? I mean, every picture tells a story, every story has a moral. Would you, Mr. Sims, like to know what the moral of the story is? Get a light, would you? No tartar. <laughs> So, GSG9, huh? I'm impressed. Most elite anti-terrorist group in the world. What the hell are you doing here? When you turn 32, you can no longer work in the field. So I quit on my 32nd birthday. You spend a lot of time alone. Yeah, I usually find company disappointing. Why is that? I had a strange childhood. Maybe that had something to do with it. We moved around a lot when I was a kid. I couldn't exactly tell my friends what my dad did for a living. So when he died, I followed in his footsteps. Female cleaner. Make it snappy. White zone is for loading and unloading only. Well, I think this is the place. Come on, Hawk. Let me get that for you. That's about right. Find anything there, Hawk? I don't believe this. There's nothing there. Yeah. There you go. Child proof. Looney proof. <laughs> Are you crazy? I'm certified crazy by the best doctors in the whole state of California. Give me that. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. This much explosives could have blown us sky high. Yeah, but at least we'd go out with a blaze of glory. <laughs> I got us in here. Why don't you just uh, go ahead and load us up? You need a straitjacket. <laughs> Nice try, Kathy, but I'm gonna need more. 
impression I can tell from this stuff is that the walls surrounding the compound are about 20 feet high, and there's one main gate. Man, I've tapped FBI files, CIA files. <sighs> I think it's time for some Brit tricks. Let's go. I'm going. We having any fun yet? No. Oh. Why are you here? With the money. I could start over. And one day, if I meet the white woman, maybe settle down and have a family. Well, that's not a future I've ever considered. I'm not driving that. There's no way that's suicide. You are driving the nitro. What the hell do you think McHugh hired you for? You're a good driver, aren't you? Huh? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good then we have absolutely no problem then, do we? Except I don't drive things like that. Look at the tires on that. You couldn't float them in a river. Forget it. I ain't driving the nitro. Listen, Sims. I know you and me, we've had our few differences in the past. But I'm the kind of man who can let bygones go by. You know why? Because I can be <laughs> extremely huh? objective. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Got it. I hate flies. Me too. Let's go. Okay. Easy. <laughs> Got it. Hot off the press. Plans to the compound. There's the east gate and the west gate. I got us the plans. Now you got to get us in there. What the hell are we stopping for this time? There's a body on the road. Is he breathing? Well, hell, I don't know. Kick him. Oh. Yeah, he's alive. <coughs> Let's get him in the truck. <coughs> I'll help you out. I'll get the truck. What? Uh, stupid basket case. In fact, you're way beyond baskets. You're in a pottery. Here, let me get this for you. Uh, you got it? I got it. I got it. Chuck hole the wrong way. And we're blown into, say, a million pieces. You think we'll still meet God? Or will we meet him one piece at a time? Just shut up, man. I am tired of hearing about the home. I'm tired of hearing about your brushing, your flossing. Can't just talk about something intelligent because if you can't just shut up and don't say nothing at all. You understand me? townspeople have hired some mercenaries. Well, this time we're gonna have to call out the dogs. Your men wanted action? Yes, sir. Then it's action they'll get. Turn them loose. Yes, sir. I'd kick your ass for everything you put me through, you know that? Well, 
If you want to kiss my ass, Sims, I can't accommodate that. You know, you're more dangerous to us than if you worked for Sperry. If I didn't have so much respect for McHugh, I'd break your neck. You know, I learned back at the home that it's not really healthy to keep all this pent-up aggression inside. I suggest that you learn how to release it, Haas. Wow. That's the first intelligent thing you said all day. Stop the bullshit. Kill each other when we finish here. Come on, let me show you what I found in the truck. You need a straight jacket. It's gonna wind up in your back someday. Who's the man with you? Good job, Mr. CDM. But this is just the structure. We need to know what it's like inside. Seems like our friend here has something he wants to say to us. I'd like to help him. You can start by giving us a reason to trust you. Well, for starters, Sperry's got a safe with a few million dollars inside. How's that? Now, how would you know that? I saw it. Well, if you know where it is, why don't you tell us? Well, if you let me in on some of the action, I'll show you where it is. Can you detail the interior structure of the compound? Yeah. Okay. Get to work. Hey. How do I know I can trust you? You're just going to have to take that risk. What the hell do you think you're doing here? We thought we'd do a little shopping. A little what? All right, scumbag. <laughs> Just who the hell are you? You guys don't belong here. And you are gonna learn a lesson. We'll be back. And when we do, <laughs> you're not gonna get off quite so easy. Okay. Out of here. She was up in the tower. Look, th there was nothing we could do. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, there was nothing we could do. Now, now she could have killed us all. What am I seeing here? This low life forehead is a disgrace to all of us. And what do we do when someone disgraces us? Punish him. Then punish him. <laughs>
get out of my sight. Don't you be dealing from the bottom of the deck to me. Don't you guys get something to eat? I'll be close. Uh, hold up. I'll go with you. are in my favor. The stakes. Too high for either of us. Oh, I don't know. My pocket's pretty deep. Mine aren't. Hit me. Why don't you just quit while you're ahead? I feel lucky today. Just cut to the chase. You don't belong here. So why don't you take your little group and you get out of town? Because if you are still here tomorrow afternoon, this little town will cease to exist. Well, I was thinking of sticking around till the election. What election? Haven't you heard? I'm running for mayor. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Why in the hell do you want to die for a bunch of taco vendors? I got real bored with my day job. Don't forget, tomorrow afternoon. Sperry means what he says. He could wipe this town out in a heartbeat and never get his hands dirty. I know. Something's been bothering me. What's that? Why would a nice guy like Sperry want to kill you? compound at 2300. If anything goes wrong, Sperry's gonna come and level the town. Britt? Yeah? Be ready to evacuate the people. Where do you want to take them? As far away as possible. <laughs> if I'm evacuating, I'm gonna miss all the action. You're not trained for the action. Callan, you and I will take out the guard at the front gate. Go around the west side. Remy, you and Sims infiltrate the arsenal. Okay, place the explosives along the inside. I'm so 
still pissed I'm not going with you, Akin. I just don't want you to get killed. We ready? Yeah. Ready here. Ready here, boss. Let's move. We'll get in and out without waking anyone up. Yeah, well, they're in for a little rude awakening after we're gone, aren't they, boss? <laughs> we'll have 15 minutes after the charge is set. That means we're out of here at 0100. Let's do it. Sure, you got him. Does the Pope wear gold bowling shoes? <laughs> got him. Meet you at the south gate. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Brett. What? You know how old I was when I first held the gun? No. About four and a half hours younger than I am now.
understand it. I know they need every man they can get. And I'm sitting here babysitting. I gotta go, man. Give me the keys. No, you, you can't drive my truck. I have to drive my truck. Let's go. Hector, what are you doing, man? Wait for me! He goes. You're not from around here, are you? Well, actually, I'm, uh, I'm just passing through, Haas. Wise guy, huh? Let's go have a chat with the commander. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try, Huss. Come on. inside the compound. Shoot him on sight. I'm gonna cut him up. Sam, you all right? Yeah. You know, straight jacket, you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you goof. I'm trying to tell you you're okay in my book. Yeah, well, I love you too, honey. But we'll have to bond later. Come on, let's go. Some men shut off the front gate. What's on your forehead? What are you boys doing? Drop the gun. Well, it looks like we've got a Mexican standoff here. 
So you think I'm scared of you, huh, bitch? Hell yes, I think you're afraid of me. It's good to know I'm still a good judge of character. The government's still gonna want this. Unless, of course, it's just a figment of their imagination. Mind if I get a lift? I told you. Thank you. It's just... 
just want to thank you all for what you did. Here's the money I promised. Build your town, take care of your brother's family. I will, I promise. We have to get some of these cases. Get on the bus, huh? Yeah. Oh, now you're going to see me. Old chicken's going to make me. 